Well, coming home third tonight, a guy that uh, we like to say he's like that old Jerry Reed song, when you're hot, you're hot, when you're not, you're not. We've seen him win races. We've seen him leading races and spin out. We've seen him charge from the back to the front, and he was in third spot tonight out of Loudoun, Tennessee, our good friend Matt Henderson. Matt, a good run tonight, and for you, you got to sit back there and see the show tonight. Yeah, what a race it was. Uh, got to see young Tyler Clem fend off two veterans. Uh, you got Cooley, who's an excellent super late model guy, and you got um, Hall of Famer Ronnie Johnson, and he never folded under pressure. I think his tire just gave up. I mean, he had to work it extra hard. Uh, most of us were on 55s, and he went with a 21, and he just worked it until it couldn't work no more. So he did a good job. I don't know about you, Matt, but when I was 12 years old, I was on my bicycle pretending to be a race car driver riding around the block. I mean, it's just amazing that, I mean, not just Tyler, but we got, you know, Cruz Skinner at 13 and a lot of 14, 15, 16-year-old drivers in this uh, Sunoco Young Gun Challenge Series. It's good to see the youth coming up because, uh, you know, uh, guys like us, we're eventually going to get old and there's somebody got to be taking our place. Yes, sir. It, and, and we do have a big youth movement in our sport right now, and not just in late models, but all over. And, and at one point, it, it was kind of concerning because you didn't have that. I mean, I started racing late models when I was 14, and everybody was just, oh, my God, he's so young. And then I've seen 11- and 12-year-olds now. It's really refreshing to see that somebody's going to be able to carry our sport on when, when our time in it's done. Well, Matt, uh, pretty good weekend uh, with the H2 Dwayne Hommel tribute car, and uh, uh, it looks like you, you're getting your winning form back. I think so. Uh, we got this car put together, and, and we, this is our really our first Neesmith weekend with it, and uh, it, it's pretty good. It's a Bruce-built rocket, um, you know, and everything I do to it, it locks. And we, uh, I messed up grooving our tires, so... I kind of got it where it wouldn't really heat up and take off like, like Ronnie's did, so it wasn't the car. I mean, that was just my mistake. Everything you try to do with that car, it responds and goes on. So um, I think we are getting a, a winning form back, and hopefully we can be real competitive from here on out. When you get different race cars, I mean, do they all have their own personalities? I mean, they're built on the same jig, but when you put them all together and get them out on the racetrack, can you feel the difference in race cars? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it, same brand, same jig, everything. I can't put the same springs usually and, and make it uh, react the same. And they all do have their different, unique characteristics that you just have to find and search for. And swapping and going back and forth between cars, a lot of times you'll get yourself lost. And, and your overall performance, you have to have a notebook for each car. What was the experience like here at Talladega Short Track racing on NASCAR weekend? First time we've been here during this special weekend. A lot going on across the street during the day. And, you know, like we saw tonight, a very enthusiastic crowd came from across the street to watch you guys race tonight. Absolutely. It was really good. Um, you know, last night I came hard charger uh, 22nd to 10th, and, and all the fans came through and was shaking our hands and stuff after the race. And it's just a, a great environment, and, and I hope we make this an annual event, and I would encourage people to come support it because you can just feel the energy. I mean, we climbed out of the cars on the front straightaway to do our top five interviews, and, uh, you know, you could just feel that raw energy, and everybody was really into the race. I mean, I, did I get scored leading the lap? I think, you know, I, I went for the lead. Ronnie went for the lead. Tyler Clem went. You know, we all... It was just a it was just real hard-fought battle, and we I think we put on a good show. The lead changed hands five times among four drivers, and, yes, you led lap three. Okay, okay. I thought I got in there for at least one. <laughs> well, Matt, a uh, couple races coming up. You got uh, Why Not Motorsports Park uh, on uh, the Memorial Day Saturday, and then Memorial Day Sunday will be at uh, Magnolia Motor Speedway in Columbus, Mississippi, and then coming up on June the 6th. Uh, the third annual J.T. Kerr Memorial 40, paying $4,400 to win, right in your backyard at 411 Motor Speedway in Seymour, Tennessee. Yeah, I'll be glad to get there. Um, I, I really like Why Not. Uh, just touch base on those real quick. I like Why Not. I've watched a lot of video on Magnolia. I'm excited to go to both those places. I'm real excited to get back at home. Um, you know, I've ran a lot of races at 411, won a bunch of races there. 
and uh, Neesmith always puts on a good show there. It's it's amazing what equal equipment, you know, as far as motors and stuff does to the competition factor. So we have ran top five twice in that race when you guys were up there. So I'm uh, I'm looking forward to getting back home. Well, coming into the weekend, you were eighth in the points, and now you're sneaking up there into the top five now, making your way to the front. And, and we need to show more consistency. I mean, like you said, I mean, hot, you're hot, and when you're not, you're not. And we can't do that to go down the stretch with legend like Ronnie Johnson and Ryan King's been pretty consistent, and you got Chase Edge that's always right there. So we've just got to continue this trend of, of getting back. You know, we ran on seven cylinders all night last night, still got a top ten. So we just got to keep fighting like we are right now, and hopefully we can end up in top three. Keep your eye on him the rest of the season. Matt Henderson. Coming up through the point standings and also a part of the Cruise with the Champions Rookie of the Year point battle. Third place finish tonight here at Talladega Short Track. Yeah.